Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, what I'd like to show you today is uh, something about Entminer D3 uh, developed by Bitmain. It uses X11 hashing algorithm and in terms of profitability it's been fluctuating really, really heavily. About three months ago when a first batch of these miners were released, they were mining worth more than $100 a day, sometimes even $150, even $170. But as the difficulty seriously skyrocketed, it was making less and less until it reached a point where it was, it was below $5 a day. Uh, initially, as I mentioned, during the early September, difficulty was around 1 million. Now it's more than 50. So that's basically the explanation why these miners became worthless all of a sudden, or at least in minds of a lot of people. And that's why nowadays, uh, even though most people purchase them for about $2,000 if you include, uh, include all the costs uh, associated with uh, shipping, VAT, power supply, etc. Uh, you can find these uh, on eBay or other, other portals uh, to be sold for even $1,000 at some point. So I myself bought a few of those and uh, that's probably the only way uh, you can get some decent profit out of these because in, in upcoming months, uh, we can expect that difficulty uh, is going to sort of even out and uh, the profitability is going to go a little bit up as that's been already happening because now uh, you can see that it's more than six, seven dollars in 9.5 actually on the best ones uh, at the moment. Of course, you need to subtract the electricity cost. So you might end up with five to six dollars a day, but it's still much more than it used to be about two, three weeks ago. And uh, as, as the Bitcoin prices are still increasing, the Dashcoin is, is following up. And uh, there are other coins that, that uh, basically can take some additional difficulty in their network. So it's all going to even out uh, a little bit. So you might still get your miner paint off and you don't really have to sell it so underpriced as, as so many uh, people were doing out there. However, uh, if you're buying one of these, make sure you're not buying it from any scammers because I myself got scammed out of 4K. Uh, dollars about those three months ago. Uh, you can see people selling them on eBay with lots of good reviews, but uh, they end up requesting you to pay with the uh, cryptos. And uh, I strongly advise against that. Just don't do it uh, unless you really want to throw your money away or gamble it. Um, so um, make sure, like I said, uh, that you have a Good, good seller. Uh, there's a lot of websites out there uh, that pretend to be solid businesses, but they've been out there for a few days and they pretend like they've been forever, uh, etc. So uh, do your research before you purchase. Uh, I'm going to show you now uh, my small review of the miner. So this is what it looked like and uh, the noise it's making. It's basically like a huge uh, heat generator. This is the version that does 19.3 giga hash uh, with a original power supply. And this is actually the power consumption, so it takes those 1200 watts as advertised. So uh, not too bad. Uh, if you're buying these, then prepare for a lot of noise and, and heat. But that I'm, I'm, I think everybody knows that by now. Um, so mine uh, mine uh, D3 actually does around those 19.3 giga hash, the one that I have are currently running on nice hash. Uh, it fluctuates a bit. So th sometimes you can see even 23,000 as here. Uh, sometimes it's just 15, but it, it sort of evens out and it does about those nine to uh, $8 a day, which is, which is not too bad, I guess. So uh, in, in terms, you will be buying these, as I mentioned, make sure you're not paying more than $1,500 because it, it's probably not going to be possible for you to get your money back on, otherwise. But for 1K, I think there's still still uh, probably some some space, you know, for, for a decent ROI to make some money out of it, especially if, if the difficulty and the prices are going to stabilize, uh, you might even be able to resell the miner later on uh, with, with some profit or at least without loss of, loss of cost. Because not everybody's gonna want to sell these under under the price that they bought it uh, so quickly. Because I will be receiving one uh, 15 giga hash version as well in a few days, and I also paid almost 2,000 for it. So obviously, if you can if you can buy it out there for 1,200 and it's 19.3 gigahertz uh, or giga hash version, then that's much better. All right, guys, uh, that's it for the moment. Thank you for watching and. Uh...